join um, Baroness Kramer, uh, Susan Kramer for the Lib Dems. Um, uh, Susan, good morning. Thanks very much for joining good us. Good morning to you. Good to see you. And um, yes, up 13% in West Oxfordshire, but there are other uh, promising results for you as well. Um, let's have your reading of things so far. I mean, we started out saying that we wanted to make progress. We thought it would be modest progress, but frankly, it's looking significantly better than that. And uh, what excites me is we, we have obviously some areas of strength, particularly areas that we won, like Richmond, where I live, uh, in 2018. But it seems to be spreading out across the country. I mean, you know, picking up seats in Sunderland, obviously winning Hull, uh, but uh, almost everywhere you look uh, in what would have been the constituency constituency of Cheadle. That's an, an area where we have history. We picked up seats there. If I look in London, um, I never thought we could win any more seats in Richmond. I really thought we'd, we'd maxed out there. But in Barnes Ward, where I live, we've taken all three seats from the Conservative, the only ward that they actually held, and they've held it for 20 years. And I think that will reverberate pretty heavily that, uh, uh, through the Conservative Party. But it's a good reflection on the kind of quality of local services. Uh, and then if we look at uh, the borough of Merton, um, in the Wimbledon uh, constituency, uh, we, we now have holds within that, that catchment area of Merton. Uh, so we've got 17 seats up from six, and the Conservatives have dropped from 17 to six. So there are, I think, a lot of, of powerful and good messages here uh, that show that the party is rebuilding. Um, uh, we have Robert Jenrick in the studio, Susan. I'm just um, uh, going to be asking him in a, in a moment about the Lib Dems and the kind of threat they potentially pose to Conservatives in the South and the South West. Um, I'm just wondering what, what, what you'd say about your message, really, in terms of your own strength in these areas and what kind of threat you think you might pose uh, in these seats going forward in the next couple of years? Well, we've been getting really good responses back in the South and Southwest. I mean, some of those are areas where historically we had strength, but we really have found, uh, you know, if you look at it in areas like Somerset, that uh, we really have found local people feeling taken for mm. granted. Uh, so it's a bit like sort of going up and being part of that North Shropshire campaign. You go out into areas, you find farmers uh, so who are feeling that their issues are not being addressed and are not being dealt with. Uh, so, and they know that the Lib Dems have a long history in really being supportive to the farm community. You find in more rural areas that they don't get in the level of service. They've been overlooked. They've been taken for granted. We're getting a lot of feedback of that kind. And I'll be really interested to see the results as they start to come out that, uh, over the rest of the day. But you can feel that we're, we're not confined to just you know, our absolutely key major strongholds anymore. You can look and see the expansion beyond that. And uh, particularly, I think we're going to be seeing it now down in what we call the blue wall seats. But th those seats have been held by the Conservatives, but where there's a lot of sharing of values with Liberal Democrats and, uh, and people are, are looking at the party and saying, actually, um, I, I, I think it's time I voted what I wanted rather than, you know, anti-Labour Party, which, which has been a lot of what's happened before. Baroness Kramer, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, Baroness Kramer there for the Lib Dems.